Today's topic is urinary incontinence. Urinary incontinence is an uncontrolled, involuntary leakage of urine. It can also be referred to as a loss of bladder control. The condition is common and distressing and may have a large impact on the quality of life. This is because many people with the condition are afraid to do normal activities as they usually do not want to be far from a toilet. Urinary incontinence is thought to affect millions of people, and the chance of having it increases with age. There are different types of incontinence, and they include stress incontinence. With this type, a weakened pelvic muscle floor and tissue cause urine to leak. This may be due to extra pressure placed on the bladder and the muscle involved in urine control. This is the most common type of urinary incontinence. It is common in women, especially older women who have gone through menopause or women who have given birth. Stress incontinence may be triggered by coughing, laughing, or sneezing, exercise, heavy lifting. Urge incontinence. This is also called overactive bladder and is the second most common type of urinary incontinence. In this type, a sudden involuntary contraction of the muscular wall of the bladder causes an intense urge to urinate. Urge incontinence may be triggered by a sudden change in position, sex, especially during orgasm. Overflow incontinence. With this type, the bladder cannot hold as much urine as the body is making, or the bladder doesn't completely empty, causing a small amount of leakage. This is more common in men with prostate cancer problems, a blocked urethra, or a damaged bladder. Functional incontinence. With this type, a person recognizes the need to urinate but cannot make it in time due to physical or mental impairment such as dementia or arthritis. Mixed incontinence. With this type, you are experiencing more than one type of urinary incontinence. Many women have both stress and urge incontinence. Causes. Urinary incontinence is not a disease but rather a symptom. It can be caused by underlying medical conditions or everyday habits. Certain foods, Drinks or medications may stimulate the bladder and increase the volume of urine, such as alcohol, caffeine, chocolate, chili peppers, a large dose of vitamin C, artificial sweeteners, heart and blood pressure medications. Other causes of urinary incontinence may be due to underlying physical problems or changes, including pregnancy, menopause, enlarged prostate, prostate cancer, hysterectomy or other surgical procedures, obesity, cystitis, neurological conditions such as stroke, multiple sclerosis, and Parkinson's disease, urinary stones, an anatomical defect present from birth, spinal cord injury, childbirth, urinary infections, constipation, uncontrolled diabetes mellitus, bladder cancer. Symptoms. The main symptoms of urinary incontinence are the involuntary leakage of urine. How and when this happens depends on the type of urinary incontinence. Diagnosis and Treatment To make diagnosis, the doctor will review your medical history and carry out a physical examination. During the physical examination, the doctor will examine your vagina and check the strength of the pelvic floor muscles. For a male patient, the rectum is examined to determine if the prostate is enlarged. The doctor may recommend urinalysis, where your urine is checked for signs of infections, traces of blood, or other abnormalities. Bladder diary, to keep track of how much fluid you drink when urination occurs, and the number of incontinence episodes. Post-void residual measurement, to assess the amount of urine left in your bladder. Urodynamic testing, to determine the amount of pressure the bladder and urinary sphincter can hold. Pelvic ultrasound. Treatment. Treatment for urinary incontinence depends on the type, the severity, and the underlying cause. Treatment option may include behavioral techniques, including bladder training, fluid and diet management, or toilet trip schedule, pelvic floor muscle exercises to help strengthen the muscle that helps control urination, medications, including alpha blockers, topical estrogen, anticholinergic, and mirabegron. Medical devices designed for females, including urethral inserts, pessary. Interventional therapies, including bulking agents, nerve stimulator, Botox injections. Surgery, including artificial urinary sphincter, sling procedures, 
bladder neck suspension, or prolapse surgery. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.